I think the main thing that attracted me to music, particularly to singing, is the storytelling aspect. I really, really enjoy getting lost in a story and lost in a character through someone's performance. I always wanted to be an actress and I always wanted to tell stories and delve into a character. And singing kind of allowed me to do that on my own terms. My name is Cecile McLaurin Salvant and I am a singer and composer and visual artist. I think our whole world is built on stories. That's sort of how we organize ourselves as people. And the more believable it is, the more effective it is, the more you can really move and provoke and create thought and challenge. I think storytelling has been, for me, a way also to delve into some difficult topics, some dark aspects of our culture and our history. And ever since I started to delve into the history of minstrelsy, blackface performance, the idea of black performers performing in blackface has been one that I've spent a lot of time trying to unpack. Much like jazz, much like a lot of American music, it's two completely contradictory ideas rubbing up against each other, and I love that in all art forms. I've always been and probably always will be attracted to love stories. Ogress is a long-form musical fable that I wrote about a woman who lives in the woods. I sing the role of the narrator, and the narrator embodies about five different characters. Ogress is about storytelling caricature. It's about the grotesque. It's about the fetishism of the black female body. Also very much about man's relationship with nature. And Ogress is very much about desire. It's about hunger and it's about love and different forms of love and longing. And it is my most personal piece. It's really the start of a new chapter, I think, in my musical practice, my compositional practice, and my art practice. And we're working on making it a feature-length animated film. I'm very interested in bridges and how things connect to each other. This is why I'm interested in interdisciplinary work. This is why I'm interested in studying history and how it relates to the present. My musical practice and my visual art practice and my writing, it's the bridges between those things that are where I'm really thinking and working out ideas. I think at my best, my work brings some interrogation into the world. 